If you see some of my other videos, I probably mentioned my Florida Marine Tracks chip, and I thought I'd just do a little deep dive into why I think this chip is so incredible. Not only does it give you this 4K image of where I'm at, but it gives you these red track lines. This is the low tide route that you can take. And in the three years that I've owned this chip, I've never touched bottom when I've stayed on the red line. And it gives me a ton of confidence to weave through some of these areas. Here's an example where you've got some oyster bars, these red marks here are oyster bars. This one's probably visible on a low tide. This one might not be. In yellow, it gives you just caution areas. So here it's telling you on a low tide, be careful of that finger that's coming off of that bar right there. It just highlights that much clearer for you. These blue lines here, that's just a power line. You can turn all this stuff on and off when you set up your system. I just have on kind of the bare essentials for what I need. I don't want to clutter the screen too much, but I definitely want to see these tracks. I want to see these caution areas and I want to see oyster bars. Pretty, pretty amazing chip. I mean, look at this area. So here's some caution. This is just saying this route might not be viable because maybe the sand shifted during a storm. Just use extra caution. That's a tight, that's a tight track. If I were in this case, I would definitely come around this way, stay away from the caution. If you look at this just from a 4K image, I wouldn't have confidence to come ripping through here. It says it's three feet here, but I wouldn't have confidence without this red line. The image doesn't give me the depth well enough. When I first moved out to Southwest Florida, I didn't have the ship, I didn't know it existed. And I was driving through stuff like this. You know, not knowing that all this was there. Sure, you can see this island right here, but you can't see these shallow spots. I found a few of those on accident and had to mark them um, before I got this chip. And this chip really gave me the confidence to explore. This is Matt Lachey up in here. I mean, look at how tough that is. But with this chip, you have confidence to come through something called a Hell's Gate. <laughs> you can come in through here and, and work these little oyster bar pockets right there. Without this chip, there's no way I'd go through there. I just, just got the Southern Florida chip. You can buy either North, South, or all of Florida. The South chip's currently going for 550 bucks. Uh, one thing I thought was super cool is after Hurricane Ian, they offered everybody an update. Or some of the pilings had moved, been destroyed and replaced, and Florida Marine Tracks offered an update at a really reasonable price. I think if you had the chip for less than a year, it was free. And then if you wanted to buy the update, it was $170, something like that. So. Uh, pretty cool of them to do that. So let me show you why I actually bought this chip. I had a different one that just had a 4K image. And it was a really nice image. But on a winter day, I was coming in through this area here. This is called Blind Pass. It's a really well-known area in Southwest Florida. And it gets shallow in here. You've really got to be careful coming through. Without the red line, I didn't have the, the track to follow. Now, there's a lot of buoys in here. But one of the things I wanted to show is right here. I was coming down this way. And I saw this deep trench on my image that I had. I, I grew up in Minnesota. I was thinking red right return and I was going out. I was going from the intercoastal waterway out to a, through a pass. And so in my mind, I was thinking I was not returning. Red should be on left. Now, I know that's not true in all cases in the, in the intercoastal waterway here. Uh, and this was an expensive lesson for me to learn. What I did was I came in through here and I actually got stuck right there and spent the better part of a couple hours sitting right there waiting for Sea Toe to come and get me. Now what I've been told, and you want to verify this on your own, but red right return means that you're returning to New York. In this case, red should be on my right. I don't know, that's what I've been told by an old guy at a bar. So, probably true. Old people know stuff. You might want to look that up. But with this chip, I mean, it, it just gives me so much confidence that I'm on the right sides of the buoys. Hey, one other bonus thing I'll pass along. When I got stuck right here, I did something really stupid. I saw deep water right here, realized my mistake, and I tried to push the boat that way. I should have gone back the way I came. I knew exactly where my route was here. I should have just pushed it off this ledge this way. Instead, I tried to push it this way, and I got even more stuck. So a little bonus tip there, learning from my mistakes. Anyway, this is the chip I really like, Florida Marine Checks. Check it out.